Hello, can people see me in the chat here? I can see the chat. Can the chat hear me and see me? Hello, am I coming through? Hi, GW fan, softcore brony. You can hear me and That is some kind of lag. This is my first time streaming, so I don't know how much it's going to lag or what's going to happen here. We are experiencing technical difficulties. We I knew this was going to happen. That's why this is why we test. Uh Wow, that is some kind of lag. Okay. okay. Testing something. Okay, so I'm on like a 15 second lag, it looks like. I don't know if that's normal or not. My first time going live. Are you guys also able to see the... You guys can see the game screen. Screen, that game screen's showing up for you there. Should be a chat box there. Okay, and I, okay, as far as I can tell, we're live, all right, this is not, this is my first time ever going live and streaming, so yay, I got it working more or less on time, <laughs> and I have three viewers, which is three more than I expected to have, so thank you all three of you, we can form a barbershop quartet now after this. Okay, so is my vol is my mic volume okay? Should I be a little louder, a little quieter? Should I just shut up and stop talking? Feel free to tell me anything except that last part. Like for real, is the volume okay? Camera stopped flickering, I saw that. I'm waiting for chat feedback because this 15 second lag is killing me. Come on. You got me? Okay. So, in that case, we are going to launch the game. If you, if you don't know what this is and you just, and you, and you just clicked out of curiosity, Today is the 5th anniversary of the first release of my Final Fantasy VI ROM hack, Philly Fantasy VI. This is, now this is really more of a stream test because, like I said, I've, this is my first time stream, but I want to get into it. You know, maybe look up streaming the Pixel Remaster of Final Fantasy VI or other games when they come out. So, I know at some point, I needed to figure out how to do this and do a test of it and all that. And I figure, eh, 5th anniversary, let's play through the game. So... 
that's what we're gonna do. Just get the game going here. Okay, and we are going. This is not a bad ROM, this is a great ROM. We're going to skip to the title screen. And I'm just going to let this play now and you let me know if the game volume is okay for you guys. If it should be a bit quieter, a bit louder, all that. Just a sec. Go ahead, stop the loop. It's okay, GW, it happens. Just a sec. I wanted to go live on Twitch too, but I am figuring that out. This is my first time, so we're figuring things out. Yeah, I, I level grinded in preparation. Come on. Everything has to be complicated. Why 
12. I'm trying to go live, yes! Thank you, Twitch. I'm already set up. Okay, that explains it. I can only st apparently I do need Streamlabs Prime bleh, Streamlabs Prime to stream to both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. So YouTube it is. <laughs> okay, everyone's still here. No one falling asleep yet. Okay. So. Uh, when I announced this, I said I was going to play through the final boss and the the, the founders and the, the war and triad and the final boss. But I'm also wondering, well, how long is that going to take? Half an hour, maybe? I'm not sure. It depends on how easy of a time I have. So we have two options here. I can play just load this one and fight the founders and the final boss, or we can go for another different uh, the bottom save file and play through the whole final dungeon so it's up to you guys if you're watching if you're on the chat you let me know because you're the ones who are gonna watch this I can play through the whole final dungeon you can see more general gameplay or we can just do the final bosses it's up to you guys there we go now nah, I don't know why that's not working uh, just gonna move this over a bit there Just waiting on to see what the chat has to say. Chat did hear that, right? I'm not still not sure how my audio quality is. Yeah, I wouldn't mind the final dungeon too. Just if you're not a if you're not a My Little Pony fan and you're just wondering what the heck is this ROM hack, I think going through the whole final dungeon will give you a better sense of how the gameplay is different for this. So yeah, we'll give that a shot. So let's load that up. And I also have save state, so if people do get bored or we want to cut it short, I can just skip right to the end. So we're in game now. 
we'll just land our uh, Discord's tower. And we do still have the cutscene here. I mentioned uh, one thing I do, a minor change, change I did make to this ROM hack. I took out the gradient effect on the text boxes. It's surprising that it makes, it's surprising like things are just much easier to read without it. Like I never really thought about it before playing the original, but without it. I should have rewritten that. What indeed? Okay, so I have my party pre-planned pre here. We're gonna go with Luna, Sweetie Belle, Scootaloo, and Apple Bloom for party one. Party two will be Twilight, Celestia, and Cadence, along with Flash to protect the princesses. And we're gonna round out the group with four of the main six. Wrong one, I am not using Gogo, or, sorry, Trixie or Fluttershy. They replace Gogo and Shadow, and I'm not using them because their gameplay is pretty much unchanged. Trixie still does what Gogo does, and Fluttershy still does what Shadow does. So, with that in mind, let's go rock. So as I uh, I've me I mentioned before, mentioned before, I did a lot. I think I mentioned the gameplay for this is really overhauled from the original Final Fantasy VI. Go into that briefly. The gameplay it's largely based on Final Fantasy XII, where it had Final Fantasy XII you had light armor, heavy armor, and mystic armor. In this you have Pegasi, unicorns, and earth ponies. The Pegasi characters are faster and they can get preemptive strikes more and they wield lances. Uh, the, the unicorns have magical, have advanced magical powers. They have higher MP, higher magic power, and magic defense, and magic block. And the earth ponies have higher stamina and strength and HP and defenses. So you can see that right here, Sweetie Belle, who replaces Realm, is a unicorn, so she has really high magic power compared to everyone else and Scootaloo is a Pegasus so she has much higher speed and she has that super high vigor just because I gave her a power band aka hyper wrist and Apple Bloom is the earth pony so she has the ridiculously high vigor which is also coming about because of this her ultimate weapon in Philly Fantasy 6 every character has an ultimate weapon so Apple Blooms comes with nice stat boosts, including a built-in Hyper Wrist effect. So that's why her Vigor is so high. She's basically automatically got the Hyper Wrist equipped. And then Luna here is an Alicorn. So Alicorns are intended to be sort of the jack of all stat types. And Luna is the Earth Pony leading one. So she replaces Sabin. All of Sabin's blitzes are now physical. And she, she has higher Vigor than the other two Alicorns. And you can see here the unique helmets they have. There, there's the Gaia Shafran, the for the Earth Ponies. The Pegasi get the Uranus Helm, and the Unicorns get the Aether Veil. Again, just the, the stat boosts don't come from Espers. Esper stat bonuses are removed. Stat bonuses come from equipment. So the Unicorns get stuff that boosts their magic stats. Pegasi get stuff that boosts their speed stats and the ponies get stuff to boost their physical stats. And Scootaloo, by the way, replaces Gao, and Apple Bloom replaces Umaro. Yes, Umaro. He is fully, he, so to speak, is fully equipable in this ROM hack. Umaro is fully controllable and equipable, and Apple Bloom has the special ability Steel, because Lock, Lock's replacement has a different ability, and that would be Flash Sentry. Flash Sentry has weapons here, which is tools, and Princess Celestia is Edgar. What does she have instead of tools? Magic. Edgar, Edgar slash Celestia has natural magic and will learn magic as they level up just like uh, Terra and Celis would. 
And speaking of Tyra and Celeste, that would be Twilight and Cadence here. So Cadence is the Pegasi leaning princess, so she can e she can equip the Winged Saddle, which is Pegasus equipment again, get more out of her speed. Celestia is the unicorn leaning Alicorn, so she has higher magic. Twilight's a unicorn, higher magic. And Flash is the Pegasi, so really, really high speed. And last but not least, we have the main six. Uh, Rainbow Dash replaces Setsu, Pinky replaces uh, Mog, Applejack replaces Cyan, and Rarity replaces Strago. Rainbow Dash still has slots, but uh, one, uh, uh, one of the slot effects was changed. Pinky is still dancing or partying. And her parties now are elementally themed. I do not have the water one in this save file because the person I got it from didn't have the water one. Oh well. And we'll show more of those. And Cy Cyan slash Applejack still has sword tech, but they're differently named. They all lie on physical stats now, but they charge much faster. Sword tech, sword tech charges way faster in this hack. And finally, there's Rarity, who replaces Strago, still has laws, but several laws are different. She has an elemental law for most of the elements, except for uh, poison. And several others have had their effects tweaked as well. This is basically Grand Train, just under a different name. And again, they all have ultimate weapons, except I did not equip Rarity yet. There it is, the Scale Saber, which has the effect like the Soul Saber in the base game, where her attacks drain MP. Rainbow Dash's Typhoon Pike, when she uses jump or dive in this hack, she automatically gets the Dragon Horn effect where she can do it multiple times. Pinky has the Party Cannon, it randomly deals extra damage, like the uh, box sniper weapons, and it can also inflict the Dragon status, which is Imp. And Applejack has the Fuji Saken, which also has a built-in Hyperist effect. And all, the, all Katanas in this hack also have a built-in two-handed effect. So if you want to attack with them, you can. And the final thing before we finally get going is that the three of the Pegasus, the pony species, pony species, also all have a unique relic. Pinkie Pie is equipped with Boulder there, which gives X Fight. Rainbow Dash has the Winged Shoes, which enables Dive. Sorry, that's not that's not that's not that's not the Pegasi exclusive one. That is on Flash. I forgot. When did I? It should have been on Flash. Did I not? Okay. Well, the Unicorns, it's on Twilight, is the Alicorn Amulet, which is what gives them x fight. Let's quickly get Celestia set up here. And again, all kinds of different relics. Some grant elemental affinities and teach spells. Flight suit. That, that, is, that is the Pegasi exclusive relic. And you can pair it up with the winged shoes and it allows multiple dive commands or jump commands. It's, it's the dragon horn. But I don't think I need it on Flash because Flash has weapons. So we won't be doing too much physical attacking with him. Okay, without further ado, let's finally start progressing here. Another little quality of life change you can hold B to sprint in this version. You don't need the sprint shoes. Hello, enemies. Let's... Okay, Applejack, show off that quick charging sword tag. How did we live when it charged at normal speed? I don't know. Eh, we already, what do we want to show off? How about we show off Twister? Don't know how effective it'll be. And Pinky, let's show off one of your elemental parties. Of course I notice I get a of course I notice I have a hangnail. Wait as I start streaming, of course I do. Oh hey, and there's one of the best effects of it. Overclock is basically haste gut. So yeah, Pinkie Pie has or Mog rather can cast haste gut. How's that? There we go. That's also I'll oh, point out I mentioned the Earth Ponies have higher physical stats that includes HP. You can see that here. Pinkie Pie and Applejack have way higher HP. And Rarity as a Unicorn has way higher MP. And that's because a lot of their equipment pieces have built-in 
uh, HP plus 12.5 or plus 25% effects. Fancy Shafrin. Who can he equip that? I believe that's for the CMC of Rarity. Just make sure here. Yes, it is. And it's basically the equivalent of the Cadio Hood. Uh, nah, keep the Aether Veil on. We need that magic boost. Anya, you are a dedicated mage. Another Farmer Frog, but I already have three. And Steady Shield. That's basically the gauntlet. To enables two-handed. And now we can see some of these. Um, Great enemy sprites from Rydal Fox. Great sprite, uh, sp uh, sprite maker, an artist. Don't know if he's still active in the community. I haven't seen him in a while, but he's a great guy. I think he just drained her own HP to heal herself. That is a very pinky thing to do. And where would he just drain her MP to, to heal herself? Well, that's okay. Pinky isn't doing much with her MP anyway. Nice, Applejack! Alright! Nope, oh, oh, we are going down. Seriously? I'd love to show off if I can get the wing emblem lined up. Love to show off what that does, because that's the one uh, effect of Rainbow Dash slots that I did change from set to. So I'd just love to show off what it does if I can get it. I know there's a way to manipulate the slots, but I never was really interested in that. I never looked into how to do it. Man, that did a lot, Pinky. Heal up the party from that. That did hurt a lot. How about you, you want to rock and roll, Pinky? Let's rock and roll. Okay, let's not. He's dead. And he. This is like the iconic Kepka's Tower Party to me. I remember whenever I played through this game, I always encountered these guys way more often than any other encounter. Or maybe that's just me. I don't know. Oh, oh, barely live. Okay, let's use Cosmic Light. This is actually the ice-themed one, Cosmic Light. So you can only get in the World of Ruin, but the trade-off is that its attacks are a bit more powerful than the other dances. So it's like the ultimate dance. And there it is, that's pretty powerful. Rainbow Dash, how did you die? I take my eye off you for one second. Yeah, I know that's an, always an echo screen used to loosen the slots, but I never I never bothered to learn. I never really used any of the game breaking things like rigging the slots or Wind God Gal because I was always like, you know, Final Fantasy VI is already so broken anyway. You know, like why would I? Why do I need to rig the slots? I'll cast Ultima. That'll kill everything already. There we go. Hero ring. I could actually use one of those. That's occurred to me. Pinky's equipped with Boulder. What am I having her party for? I can just attack. Oh, and good I did that. Here comes the snowballs. Not super impressive, because her vigor isn't super impressive. I remember I always had... I was always with Pinky, it was like, how do I make her ultimate weapon stand out aside from just stat boosts? Same problem with Shadow, because even with the balance changes, you know, there's only so much you can do to weapons to make them more appealing over normal command abilities. 
Ow. There we go. But I think I will learn Gem Missile from that. Gem Missile, yes, there we go. Gem Missile is a lawful rarity that is a bit unique because it deals physical damage, not magical damage. So, if you need that, it's an option. Could have niche uses. I tried to make them more... When I, with all the spells and laws I replaced, I tried to make them more interesting, tactically. And that does remind me, I do need to show, I did heavily change the spell list in this game, especially offensive spells. Let us get... Oh, Thunderstorm. That's another lore we already can learn, thank you. So Holy is under white magic now, and under the black magic... Rainbow Dash. I'm trying to give a tutorial and explanation here. She goes around and keeps dying on me. Stop sleeping on the job, Dashy. Think you know more of those spells to show off? Not really. Okay, you guys are annoying. Really? Three times? And you missed all three times. You suck. Let's kill him off. He's annoying me. Come on, Dashy. Get up. Get up. Game audio okay for you guys? Too quiet? Too loud? Come on, I just revived her! Fine, you know what? Rainbow Dash stays dead. Let's use Gem Flash. That's basically Grand Train, just under a different name with a different graphic. There you go. Thank you, Pinky. Is that guy confused? Because he turned the other way when he got hit there. Hmm. Yeah, I remember. That is, I remember people like like gem missiles doing like a thousand damage from Gilda, and I'm like, at the, at the Magitek research facility. What? Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna nerf that. <laughs> okay, good to hear. Audio is good. So, does anyone have spells I can? Well, Applejack will do. Short version is, a lot of spells are changed. There's now a tier 3 poison spell, Scourge. And there's tier, kind of tier 1.5 or tier 2 and tier 2.5 slash tier 3 earth, wind, and water spells. The other spell he that's missing here is wave. And then we have flood, quake, and cyclone. And also in place of quick, although I don't think it's here, is image. I'll just quickly show off the espers. Espers have been completely overhauled. This is Raiden. This is Ragnarok. This is Crusader, which teaches actual useful spells now, and it doesn't hit the party, too. Hello! I am sorry I do not remember you, but it is good to see you. Thanks for dropping by. Just showing off the espers here. This is Phoenix here. A lot of Espers teach their spells way quicker, especially the earlier ones, they teach more spells quicker so you don't have to grind so much to learn them. And I also gave them new effects. This is, uh, uh, Siren here, sorry, no, uh, Kate Sith slash Stray, Confusion Seizure, Siren, Sleep and Mute. This is the one that inflicted Petrify and that inflicts Blind and Berserk. Uh, this is Zone Seeker, cast Protect and Shell on the party. Heartthrob recovers the party's HP and gives haste. The uh, Phoenix replacement fully heals all the characters it revives. So yes, Espers are totally different, are actually worth summoning. And the spells are all different too, gives the party a lot more variety of offensive options. Spells like, uh... Death spell is still here, but spells like Exona is gone. Uh, Quake, uh, Quake, and uh, t Cyclone or Whirlwind are still here, but they were retooled as normal spells, like normal damaging spells. I mean. Uh, 
uh, Drain was removed. I can't remember all the ones I removed. Because, like, I, in addition to overhauling the spells, I also, like, reordered them, too. So, I admit I've lost track. Rainbow Dash is probably gonna jump before that cure goes off. Come on, Rarity, get that spell off. Sure, do Thunderclap again. I love that. I kind of, I kind of find it kind of funny. Cyan slash Applejack is one of the most useful characters in this hack because Sword Tech Charge is so much faster. And as you can see, they can hit four times for pretty decent damage. All right, thank you, Dashy. That'll finish him off. Stop dying on me. God's sake. Okay, riding up. Okay. Seriously. Okay, you know what? Let's try out Thunderstorm on ya. Yeah, you like that. They don't like that at all. Good. Ow, that actually really hurt. And now the snowball to have our HP too. It should wipe them out. There we go. up here and let's go and face our first boss this was inferno striker and rough before now it is robo gilda and the omega and the alpha nodes this is because the enemy in the magitech research facility i made into a separate character recurring villain and instead of the two blade attachments in the Magitech research facility, I whipped off Final Fantasy IV CPU fight with the attack and defense nodes. So that's what this is here. Okay, we're gonna get Mighty God up, because she is going to hurt. Like that. Ooh, that also sucks. I forgot she, I forgot it does that. Hitting the party was slow. Oof. Uh, someone's got it. Okay, Dashy has haste to go. Thank you. Ow. I think I'm gonna need a cure too. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna need a cure. Yep, that hurt. That's no fun, I think we're gonna have to have Pinkie Pie dispel that. Uh, does she have dispel? She does not. Okay. That bites. Dashie, do you have dispel? You do. That'll do. Didn't I just kill you people? Kill more. And that's back now too. Goody. Rarity, you're buffing your own the party's buffing spells. Come on. Oh, you're blocking the party's buffing spells. Let's get Applejack back on her feet. No lying down on the job. Not today, AJ. No. 
Okay, Rarity, do you do what you do good. Cast a spell. Okay, that should wipe out both the nodes, and then it's just me and Gilda. And this barrage of attacks should take her out. Ow. Ah, yeah, that won't help you too much, because I'm not casting spells on you. Thank you, Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie defeats Gilda with the party cannon. What could be more appropriate? Well, Trixie versus the Ursa Minor, but we can't do that. Could do Trixie versus the Ursa Major. Let's come back here, heal up again. Guys, I don't want to deal with them. No, dash you get out. It has level five death. You remember that? Okay, thank you. We got out. Okay. Diamond ring. Don't need that. Flip, flip that switch, so to speak. Back attack, goody. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, sure, why not? It'll hurt the body too, but show off spells. We can cure the body. Yeah, I wanna line, I wanna line up that wing emblem that was in the middle there, because that's the one effect of the slots that was substantially different. I just wanna like show that what it is. In an effect, it, it basically it's the same effect as it had in the vanilla game, but its graphics are different, and I changed the slot emblem for it. In the original game it was the Bahamut summon. Royal Regalia. No one in this party can use that or needs that. Come on. Ah, uh, that's that's. Oh, almost. Applejack and Rainbow Dash keep dying. You're supposed to be the frontline fighters of the group. What are you doing? And that ain't gonna do nothing. Applejack, leave them apart. Another minor thing you may have noticed there is thanks to an optional patch that's included with this, uh, MP healing and H and MP damage are shown in different color numbers than normal. Go ahead, Rainbow Dash, be a Dragoon. There we go. That should take him out. There we go. Hey, don't you th don't you use that logic with me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, her magic defense is shit, but I'm still blaming Applejack for dying. Don't you try and logic me here. And on a, and that's actually that's a good point. Like I'm using a sword deck anyway. Yeah, there we there we go. Maybe now she'll won't die so much. Uh she takes after her parents. Okay, now we're switching to party one. Let's go forth with Luna safeguarding the CMC. So Sweetie Bell will place his realm. 
Realm Sketch is way more powerful in this game because it relies on her stats, not the enemy's stats. So it, they can do proper damage. As she perfectly demonstrates right there. And Immoral again, as you can see there, is fully controllable. Ah, uh, yeah. Even though Apple, uh... Umaro is fully controllable and equipable as Apple Bloom. She does still have the random physical blows. She, she remembers her karate lessons from Rainbow Dash. Let's say that. Crystal Shafflin. Does Luna have Royal Regalia? She does. Crystal stuff is basically Genji stuff in this game, and it's truly universal. Anyone can equip it, but it doesn't really get doesn't give stat boosts over the species specific equipment. What do we have? Oh, let's, show, let's show off one of the new spells. As you can see here now with Gao, he can, uh, uh, compared to Rage, Scootaloo can switch up emulates every turn to give herself status buffs and use different attacks. And some of her higher level emulates can actually, uh, actually have uh, two different abilities instead of a normal attack and an ability. Yeah, that's Ultima, I'm sure. Come on. There we go. Thank you, Sweetie Belle. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna look up. Okay, yeah. I'm also keeping an eye on my camera position because I'm in a small little window in the corner here. And also, did this remember? I wanted to show uh, Ma she uh, Apple Bloom also has an exclusive relic, the Twitamite Zappa, found in the Dreamscape, which changes steel into tools, which is a nod to this game's predecessor, Pony Fantasy VI, where Apple Bloom didn't have a magic command but did have steel and tools. So now she has tools slash weapons, including. This beauty right here, I'm pausing to explain this. I wanted to give Edgar something better than the air anchor, because the air anchor, I, in my opinion, is useless. So I gave what came up with the bazooka, which is basically a souped up auto crossbow. And I hope Apple Bloom can live long enough to show it off. And she's automatically counterattacking because. There we go. She's, she's counterattacking because claws have a built in counter effect. And she's countering with Omaro's body blows too, so she's really doing damage. Especially with her ridiculously high attack thanks to that hyper to the ultimate weapon giving her the hyper wrist effect. What do you have for us with that? Comet. Which, although she's not in the party, is another new lore for Rarity, and it's basically a weaker version of Flare. Apple Bloom also takes after her parents. The, the Apple siblings take after their parents, what can I say? There we go. Get her back on her feet. Can I not equip you guys with espers? Oh wait, cause, uh, Scootaloo knows pretty much almost every spell. Ah, uh, you can learn Meteor. Sunbeam is replacement for Alexander, if anyone's curious. Uh, give him something, yeah, go learn some sort of magic. Not gonna switch him around when I switch parties, just, you know, get him learning something. Feels weird not having them actively learning magic when having the magic side equipped. Chaos Dots, not quite the fixed dice. They're actually more like the Valiant Knights, they grow weaker as Pinky's HP de decreases. Okay, trying to remember how this is done. I can't, I want to do. I'll do the basic, one of the basic pummel blitz. Blitz has a graphic effect of the moon, because Princess Luna, of course. Uh, 
go ahead heal yourself. Ooh, still have a lot. Has a lot of HP actually. That's annoying. Oh, here goes. Okay, Scootaloo took care of it. <laughs> Apple Bloom learned reways already. Oh, okay. It's Cyclone she has to learn. Okay, let's check Luna's blitzes. She has Hillforth, Moonbolt, Moon Launch, which is the same. Of course, this is the same. I am not taking out suplexing the train. I, I'm not a madman. You have to suplex the train. Luna Aura, which is Mantra, heal. It's a normal healing spell in Grant's region. Instead of Air Elemental, Moon Sickle is all Holy Elemental, and that's the command. And Cosmic Wind, replacing Soul Spiral or Spiraler. Restores the party's MP and status ailments. And if you're noticing the input for this here, that's because all of Luna's uh, uh, Blitz commands are references to video game cheat codes for the fandom meme, meme of Gamer Luna. So these are all different cheat codes taken from different games. So of course, the ultimate Blitz is the Konami code. Because of course it is. Though, really, it's becoming increasingly less relevant these days since Konami themselves don't like making video games, as it seems. Not much, I just uh, gave everyone espers and explained a bit more about how the characters are different from the base game. Uh, Apple Bloom died, if you missed that, because the Apple siblings take after their parents. Get her back on her feet. Ow. Yeah, she didn't like that. Get back off. Okay, that's not... I, I remember the Hellblades. R R L R. I gotta check again. R R L R. Clock right. Counterclockwise and L R L R L L R R. Okay. Apples. Well, unfortunately, apples not forever. Big Mac's still alive. But oh right. Okay, he has Flash. Replace who replaces Lock, but he has the Tools command. Minor note, Celis. Is uh, Cadence is, is Celis' counterpart, and she doesn't not need a sword to use Runic. And Celestia's command is summoned, but I didn't equip her with an Espo either. Why did I not do that? I'm just showing off the spells. They do use so the new spells. Do use old graphics. That's just the graphical flood there. Cyclone and. Quake use their old graphics. Tremor is Magnitude 8's graphics. Arrow is a green version of Wind Slash, because Wind is green. And there's also Tremor, Arrow, and Wave, which uses the Water Edge graphics. That'll do. Thank you. Nice. Also just going to show here the ultimate weapons for them. Flash has the Crystal Lance which gives him the stat buffs of various kinds that get boosts his steel rate. And also get, just gives him a uh, higher evade. The Crystal Sword is basically, it uses the ultimate weapons right, but it heals targets and can cast re rays on them. Helio Staff randomly casts Flare and Twilight's ultimate weapon is the Twilight Cane. Because it has to be. Doesn't it? I make much. This hack is much less lighthearted than uh, Pony Fantasy Six. There's a lot fewer memes and fandom jokes and that. But I have to make some. I mean, what else is Twilight's ultimate weapon supposed to be if not the Twilight Cane? There you go, Celestia. So thank you. 
Okay. That's annoying. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, no. Don't go ahead. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't talk to Kate. Thank you. Alright, go, show, go ahead and target Flash. No one will care if Flash dies. I choose to live in blissful ignorance not knowing what you're referring to with that. Comet Ring. That's the Alicorn exclusive equipment type. Throwing rings that boost our vigor, speed, and magic. Uh, what's this? Health Ring. That just boosts HP, but we don't need to worry about that. Okay then, uh, I guess I'm casting Fire. Got to heal up Twilight's MP. Uh, sure, show off arrow uh, if you can. Another line of balance note, although it's because I can't, you can't tell here. The drill was moved up, move was removed from the world of balance. You don't get the drill until the world of ruin. So you have to use the chainsaw until then, which has the drawback of being instant death occasionally. Okay, a boss. I wonder what this could be. Spam the magic. Release the magic. Or unleash the magic. That'll do. Ooh, blocked. Ooh, nice, Celestia. Very nice. Okay. Let's get some Mespas on you. May as well. Uh, put Masquerade on Celestia because someone has put it very good with Masquerade, as GW South Cobroni there can tell ya. Uh, sure, get our learning Ultima. And a mug. This is basically X Ether and are buyable in stores now. And actually, let's use an X Ether on ya. Okay, what could this boss be? The Ursa Major. Okay. Yeah, I have your big old dramatic opening monologue, I'm gonna kick your ass. I don't think it has any elemental weaknesses, just gonna make sure though. And that actually hurt a bit. Okay, didn't think so. We'll stick to non elementals because I do not recall offhand what it resists. That's the fun thing about making ROM hacks. You go for a couple years without playing it and even you don't remember what you've done. It's a whole new experience. I 
Like, I didn't, I didn't know he was going to do that. Did that come out? Headphones acting up. There we go. Annoying. Oh, no you don't. Let's get a kill all gone, everyone, now. And heal Celestia. There we go. Thank you, Twilight. And this does replace uh, Atma or Ultima Buster, because the Ursa Minor replaces Atma Weapon or Ultima Weapon on the floating continent. So, appropriate. I do find it interesting that uh, that sprite is a lot, I think it's a bit smaller than the Ursa Minor because of its proportions. Oh, and that's a new attack I gave to enemies there. Plague! It inflicts poison, sap, and or seizure, and I believe the phantasm effect. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is a problem. This is a real problem. Uh oh. Wake up, Celestia! Not that it matters. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I was actually thinking of making a save state before that because I thought it would really suck if I died here, if died at some point and all this was lost. <laughs> so, the point of all that was to give you guys an idea of how the gameplay is different in this hack and how the different work characters work differently and just how everything's been overhauled and the bal balance, game balance and all that has changed. So with that in mind, through the magic of save states, we're now at the end of the tower, and we're going to fight the founders. I come prepared. Ah, okay. And it is the same parties as I had before. Everyone's the same, except did not give Apple, Apple Bloom. The Twitter might zap it. Okay. And I believe I forgot to equip Rarity with her ultimate weapon, too. Is that it? Oh, I did in this one. Okay. So, who do we want first? I'm just gonna close my eyes and tap Y and pick one. Let's see who we face first. Okay. First up on the chopping block will be the Earth Pony Monarch Chancellor Puddinghead. Run away! I don't think I can get the slot off. No, I can't. Run away, wasting time. You're getting on my nerves, boys. Finally! Applejack's like, I don't want to leave, I want to join my parents! I'll stop making joke about Applejack's parents being dead when it stops being funny. And it hasn't happened over 10 years, so don't hold your breath. Eh, may as well. Eh. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna check everyone, make sure... I think I'm as good as I could hope to be. Okay, let's go for it. Behold, Chancellor Puddinghead! The leader of the Earth Ponies. 
And he starts off with one of his new attacks, Stunning Stone, which inflicts stop, and then combos it with Blaster, just like uh, Poltergeist slash Demon did. But his is better because he does damage. And... Here comes Rainbow Dash, and he can counter with Stunning Stone. But because it can de it deals damage and has a low hit rate, it's actually it can be blocked. Oh, miss! I thought that's actually surprising. I thought Blaster was a guaranteed hit if they were stopped. Hmm. I will not complain though, but I don't know how long it's going to take to wear off. I'll have Pinky on standby just in case. Come on, let me get the special slot off. Thank you. And Applejacks woke up. Dive again, Dashy. Let's let's keep you in the air, out of harm's way. Stop her again. Yeah, you did, didn't ya, you dick. Rainbow, get Rarity back in the fight, please. Never mind. I'm not gonna get that special slot attack. It's nothing overly fancy, I just wanna show what it does, because, you know, it's different. And there's his special attack, Gaia's Wrath. Which, as you can see, really hurts, because despite its appearance, it is a non-elemental attack. Also, you may be noticing that the Founders have a lot of HP, and yes, they do. Seriously? Thank you, Rainbow. Let's get some summons up to try and block that as we can. Hey, you didn't counter that time. You seem to be countering a lot. I didn't think I set the counter rate that high. Get Mighty God up too while I can. And there he goes again. Oh yeah, because Stunning Stone I believe, is a magical attack, I believe. Masquerade can't block it. Well, shit. If you're noticing and wondering how the Founders seem to have so much HP, that's because they have two lives. They have a total of, just, of a, a bit over 100,000 HP. Thank you. Nice rainbow, very nice.
Still can't get it. I love this boss theme, mostly. This is one of my favorite boss themes. Uh, the fierce battle. Like, I always like, you, when you first encounter Ultimate Weapon, you just see this, this, the boss is like basically taking up the entire screen, top to bottom and side to side. And this new boss theme starts playing. That's just like, well, I'm screwed. Like, I can just tell from the size of this thing and the new boss fight. The, the new boss theme. I'm screwed. Go for Pinky, sure. Do what little you can. And there we go, one down. Woo! The Sooner Bio and Earthbreaker. And away it goes. Head inside. And our prize is the Earthbreaker, the ultimate Earth Pony Claw. Where is it? Greatly raises HP and vigor. It's HP plus 50% and a hyper ring wrist effect for plus 50% vigor. Teaches Quake and gives really good stab bonuses and has really good attack. We're gonna hang on to that because we're gonna be using that for someone else. Okay, and we'll save here. Okay, Scootaloo, you can probably get good use out of this. Actually, wait, no, not Scootaloo, Apple Bloom. There you go, Earthbreaker, here you go. Hey, that's okay, no problem, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for being a fan. Happy to see ya. And now, it's time for the CMC and Princess Luna to fight the leader of the Pegasi, Commander Hurricane. Wait, no. Uh... There we go. Okay, he's already starting to hurt us. And there's the equivalent of Phantom Rush or Bum Rush there. Wind element ineffectual. I think that's gonna hurt more you more than it will me, buddy. That's gonna hurt her way more, though. I didn't do nothing. Thanks, Luna. Let's just stick to bum rushing. And I did the wrong input. So that's gonna fail. How do you forget the Konami code? Somehow I found a way. I know, I know. Don't use a triple exclamation mark with me. Can we sketch him? Let's just see what happens. Dark Behemoth, that's the Intangia. And gives Scootaloo really good elemental defenses. Nope, can't sketch. Okay. Ow! Ow! 
Ow! Okay, not good. And now he's powered up. Go ahead. I'm not using elemental attacks anyway. Go ahead, I haven't cat you killed three of three quarters of my party, I haven't buff had time to buff anyone. Come on, get everyone back on their feet. Thank you for taking time out of your AI script, Hurricane, to let me revive everyone. I do appreciate that. Though, as I say that, I'm pretty sure he uses his ultimate attack next turn. Vespers. Protect would do a lot of good right now. And there's his ultimate attack. Hurricane! And once again, like Gaia's Wrath, despite looking elemental, it's actually not elemental. It's just a massive group attack. of one of her Crusader relics automatically casts uh, safe and protect on her. Okay, protect helped a lot. Actually, it would have if Luna had been at full HP, but forgot to heal. Or rather, Sweetie Belle's heal didn't go off in time. I'm wondering if a normal attacks would be more effective with the body blows. I cannot remember how the mantra one. There we go! Commander Hurricane has been grounded permanently. And we got the ultimate spear for the Pegasi, Storm Herald. No one in our next party can really make use of, but show it here. Uh, where, is it? where is it? There it is. And it just automatically adds the uh, dive attack or jump rather and associated dragon horn effect to jump multiple times. And again, gives ridiculous stat boost focusing on Pegasi, evasion, and speed. Oh wow, my 15th anniversary on YouTube this month? Wow. 
That would have been a bigger milestone to celebrate. Didn't realize I'd have the account that long. Though, no, no. yeah, that does, that tracks, yeah. And it's no point putting it on Scootaloo because Gao can't use jump attacks. Well, actually, I can put it on Flash. Flash will have use for it. Lowers his Vigo a little, but eh. And now the last of the founders, Ruler of the Unicorns, Princess Platinum. I know. I've act I actually got a comment once, someone was like, Wow, I remember seeing this account 10 years ago and it's still active? And I'm like, yep, I'm still around. Like, why is that an uncommon thing? Like, do people just like, and eh, this old YouTube account don't work anymore, I'm gonna start a new one. Dive again. Though that really hurt, I should have healed Flash before that. Oh wait, no, gotta wait till Rainbow lands. Never mind. Twilight decided to die. And yes, decided. She could have chosen to just inexplicably live through that. True, but even then, it's a YouTube account. You know, like, one of the earlier forms of social media. But then again, like, if you were just using a, just using a YouTube account to comment, that's not going to be obvious from the channel. Okay, let's get everyone hasted. And Ultima. I don't know if this is going to hit or not. Okay. There we go. Everyone's hasted up. And a neat thing on Princess Platinum Spiral Toss out Unlike the other sprites, this was not from Rydal Fox. This is basically um, the same space sprite as in beta. Rydal, Rydal Fox just cleaned it up a bit. Uh, but in the beta, I used someone's art. I asked permission to use someone's art for it. And they gave permission. So this is someone's artwork that was basically pixelated. And it came out looking very well. Like most of the beta sprites I used were vectors or artworks that came out looking like crap. But... Which platinum looked pretty good, Rydal just had to clean it up a little. Ouch. And here it comes! Oh, AKA Overcast. Ooh, zero MP. Oh wait, because she counted with Monodrain. Use a cupcake, sure. Of course she did. Of course she did. And uh, uh, yep, that's gonna. Yep. Goodbye. Fall into chaos. And a neat thing here, because uh, sprites are not, cannot be reliably recolored in this hack. Instead... Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, thank god, don't kill Cadence! Don't kill Cadence! 
But uh, since uh, sprites can't be reliably recolored, instead of sprites recoloring under the effect of zombie, aka discorded, they get a glowing outline like other status ailments. And that's gonna kill them anyway. Oh well. <laughs> but I saved. And it's Goddess. Like, isn't that. Isn't she supposed to be the hardest of the Warring Triad in the original anyway? And I did not give Celestial Relics after all. Why did I not give her relics? I do not know. I don't know why I'm asking you guys either. You don't know. Uh. Not sure if safety wings will protect from that. Probably not with my luck, but hey, can't hurt. I do not, but we are not going to need one, thank you. Thank you for the vote of confidence. I, d I do appreciate that. I don't know, his cadence is MP is 444 now. Yeah, and I didn't bring rarity though. For mighty god. Let's get everyone hasted. And healed up. Okay, thank you. Haste everyone. Uh oh. That's gonna kill Cadence for me. Is that gonna kill Cadence? Oh, yes, it did. Okay, thank you, Twilight. to go back up. So you pick like the person with like the lowest HP for that. Mm, good plan. Though I am gonna cast Shell on everyone now while I have a chance. And why did I cast it on Celestia? She already has Shell. And Twilight's dead anyway. The system works. And by the system I mean characters dying before they can cast their commands that I ch post chose poorly. Again? Go ahead. What did I give you for your Esper? Sunshine. the opposite of helping. And that's gonna kill Twilight, won't- oh, nope. Oh no, that was the level 5 Holy, not Holy Blast.
are you at? Protect me! Yeah, protect this. Getting on my nerves. That just drained all my that drained all my magic. Of course it did. Okay, so let's check out our heal spell. Got my party back up and we got momentum building. I had I had, I used Osmo Osmos. I thought I did. Okay. Guess Mana Drain completely drained me. And there we go. Did she, did Soul Void miss Celestia? Hmm. Interesting. I don't think it missed Flash though. He was not in the air at the time, I think. No, yeah, he got hit by it too. And now everyone's dead. Come on, Celestia. She doesn't need it! Come on! Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I cast life 3 on the boss! Of course. Don't say a word.
Good idea. Can't unequip the magic crown. I can't take the alicorn amulet off. But I don't want to lose that dual cast. Okay. We are going to save this just in case. I have remained calm. I want to be calm and lucid for when I crush this bitch's ass into fine powder. It's going to take a second. Okay. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about with the safety ring there. Like I said, I haven't played in a few years, so even I'm not entirely sure what to do, and I'm taking it a bit lax. I didn't expect to have this much trouble. No, save that. I might need it. Hello, thank you for popping in. I'll say hi to you on Twitter when I'm done this. Assuming I can beat her. I think it's time for Soul Void. So I'm gonna leave Celestia dead and see if I can get Flash in the air to dodge it. 
and he dodged in the middle of dual cast. That's interesting. It always threw me off jumps priority for executing that I would execute before other commands. And land before other commands too. And there it is, Flash didn't dodge it. Oh well. And why did I do that? I knew she was gonna cast Raspka. Yeah, I know. I know. Shut up. And we're dead. Well, at least you're attacking her. Okay. Are we sure that they've been zombified? Because... <laughs> as long as they're attacking her, all seems well to me. Time, please. Okay. You know, maybe it's a good thing that I didn't try to do the whole dungeon. Well, this just goes to show you the improved challenge level. Headphones went wonky again. power band they can donate. Scootaloo, yeah, you, you, let's be honest, you're not going to be in the final battle. I never did like Gao. Take. I don't friggin' care anymore. Not this much trouble. <laughs> and I forgot to change my espers around, whatever, I don't care. But in answer to your question, no, I don't have a save from just before Discord. I got a beater. But we can't do the final boxes. And ouch.
please not, of course, Twilight. <sighs> okay, that's fine. Flash is gonna block it. The Flash is an idiot. Oh no 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 no! Let's get him at the let's get him up in the air. Also, why Flash blocked it? Flash's unique uh, armor, God armor, has the True Knight effect. Okay, just in time! Yay! Yay! Let's get shell on people. Okay, we're going now. characters is affected only twilight awesome yeah 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 Whew. actually no cuz she'll counter with that uh, mp draining effect flash you're not doing nothing with your mp give it to me Never mind, Twilight's gonna die now. In fact, because she's using Osmos now, this is probably gonna reverse it. And Flash is gonna block it anyway. So I failed like three or four times over there. Said it was probably a bad idea to put the one person who heals you by attacking you in the party with the person who intercepts damage attacks. <sighs> okay, so let's just it's just dead dead. I can work with that. Never mind. Twilight, I don't... Twilight can stay discorded. Okay, Th this is the alternate ending to the Return of Harmony, where we introduce Cadence and Flash early, and they kill Discord while Twilight is dead. That made sense somehow. I don't care to figure out how. Please not, Celestia. Oh, go okay, go ahead. I don't care. It's She's a zombie. I, what do I care? Oh, 
At least Twilight's auto attacks have been keeping a balance on her HP region. Go ahead. May as well try and get her back on her feet as best I can. And she's dead again. Hey, that's your sister in law, Twilight. Come on. Harmonize. And Moondust. It's gonna be on. Twilight and kill her again. Oh, not quite, okay. Who's that gonna be on? Flash, of course it is. How that hair have that healed confused? Okay. Not on Cadence. Okay. So but now we have Zombie Dragon Twilight. A Discorded Dra- I don't fucking know. Someone best pony. Not really, but close enough. gonna die again. Flash, get in the air, do some damage. This is this really isn't too bad, I can manage. As long as Twilight doesn't do something. Actually, Twilight as a dragon is better, because she can't do crippling spells on me now. Flash, get back in the air. Just keep diving. Go ahead, hit Twilight, I don't care. She can't even feel it. No, Celestia! Okay, there we go. Let's try this again. And I noticed I was slouching too far back out of camera there. Can you blame me for slouching a little? This has been a heck of a night so far after this. That drained all of Celestia's MP. That drained all of Celestia's MP. That, that, that's just great. That's great. Thank you! Die! Bitch! Okay, so for winning, I get three years in therapy and the Starcracker Rod. There we go. Also, since we defeated the Founders, we now get this message. And that is similar to a super boss that can be fought elsewhere in the game now. But we're not gonna do that this, this stream. No, 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 no. I wasn't gonna use your save anyway, cause I like I don't know where you're in the game. I don't know what parties you have and all that, and nah. But then also by the time you got it to me, it'd, it'd be too much trouble. But. Okay, now the final battle. Make sure everyone is equipped. Apple Jack lost a thing. Uh, 
And what the, why am I giving her two ribbons? I don't know. I don't know. Alright. Okay. Thank you, Joshua Shaw. GG indeed, that annoying bitch. Hey. Uh, where's the bracer ring? What little it helps you. Eh, what do I care? I'm not using Scootaloo anyway. Okay. Oh wait, we all step forward? No, I know. I noticed. Yeah, I, I saw. Yeah, but too much trouble, honestly. Because, but it, you know, you, you get it to me, and I do it all that on stream, and then like knowing which party members you have and equipment and all that you got. Nah. And also, it's just the principle of thing. Gotta win this on my own. And we have finally arrived at the top of Discord's tower. And that's a little change. Kefka's laugh is a little deeper to bring it a little closer to Discord's voice. Not exact, but a little deeper. So inspiring, so hopeful, so nauseating. Stop it. Don't make me laugh. I showed a friend um, who has no experience with My Little Pony but loves Final Fantasy and especially Kefka. I showed him the clip from Return of Harmony where Discord is launching on some Chaos is a wonderful thing and like telekinetically raises the others in front of him. And it's like, he's like, yeah, I understand why you cast this guy as Kefka in your hack. I also like... That's, a, that's the thing that really, when you think about it, especially in regards to not just Discord, but King Sombra and the Crystal Empire and the sto Earth Swarming story of the Three Founders, the lore of that My Little Pony actually has a lot of strong parallels to the lore of Final Fantasy VI. And I think that's why this, story, this ROM hack works so well. I barely had to change the, we changed the story in any substantial manner. Just take what was already there and apply it to FF6. And even the speech, like, I reworded it, but it's the same kind of speech about the meaning of life and friends and love and that. Like, it's a, like, it's a lot more saccharine in Final Fantasy, uh, sorry, um, in My Little Pony, but it's the same theme as FF6, really. And, of course, everyone has their meaning for living, or their reasons for living. Drago, Sweetie Belle, or Realm, whichever you prefer. And this is another uh, uh, small addition. Uh, Gogo and Umaro have dialogue in this scene, so Apple Bloom, aka Umaro, has her line. And Trix, Trix, Trixie's is Trixie has found companionship with these plebeians. Oh, oh, gag, fine. Wish they would put some sort of background here to read the text easier. Like, it's not so bad in the original FF6 because characters don't have, like, primarily bright colored sprites, really. The contrast better, but, you know, there should be, like, even a semi transparent background, you'd think. Here we go. Plunge Equestria into eternal chaos. Nothing you have, no magic you have can destroy the magic of friendship. Ugh, I hate friendship speeches. This is why I never got into Yu-Gi-Oh.
And while I don't include as many memes and references to the show as Pony Fantasy 6, I do quote the show where appropriate. Playtime is over, Discord! Alright, so we're gonna take Twily first, and Applejack, and Rarity, and Flash, and then we'll put in Dashy, uh, Luna, Celestia, Apple Bloom, and throw in the rest, because I won't get to them if I'm doing it right. And here we have the incredibly deranged final battle redesigned by Rydal Fox, and isn't that just hideous? I love it. He t he, I believe he said he based this on something, but I don't know what exactly. Actually, really hurt. Okay, that bites. And I hope Flash would land before that. Okay, no one's died yet. Don't, don't, don't die before you revive Twilight. Okay, one down. Oh, phew. thank you. And dancing mad. I cannot wait for the Pixel Remaster FFF6, if only for the music. Because if you haven't heard the Pixel Remaster soundtrack, uh, the Castle Pandemonium theme has a new segment that's vocalized now, and they also added vocals to Zero Mus's theme. So I'm just like, you know, they're if this is how hard they go on the original themes, you know they're gonna go hard on Dancing Mad and the opera and just Final Fantasy VI's soundtrack as a whole, and it's gonna be god tier amazing. I can't wait. That is the plan, to stream the Pixel Remaster of Final Fantasy VI when I get it, so that's what this is a test for. Okay, Flash was still in the air! Okay, I didn't know that could happen. That's amusing. And a diff change I did make with this version is that you can see the enemy names. But I made them kind of like abstract, almost like you're fighting like ideas or anything, something like that. You know, like the ideas of Havoc, Bedlam, Mayhem, and Entropy. And the first ones were not a reference to Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, they're, they're types of logical fallacies in Greek thought. Parad the, like Paradox is the common one we use, but Aporia and an and Tinanami are uh, logical fallacies too. Twilight, don't cast it on yourself. Although all things considered, it's a good thing you did, because you could have cast Ultima on the party there. That would have been bad. Ow. Uh, what does sound interesting there? can do that. Oh shit. Why did I give that boss haste gun? Hell was I thinking? Oh yeah. Cause like especially like 
things like the Pandemonium theme and Zero Must, like, they're not bad themes, but, you know, they're not, like, iconic themes like Final Fantasy VI's music are. So if they're going that hard on Zero Must's theme and all that, you know they're gonna go hard on Final Fantasy VI. get mute on that thing. Unless I made it immune to mute, I'm not completely sure. I know it's in, it's vulnerable to mute in the normal game, but I don't know if it's vulnerable in my hack. Actually... Fairy, can we get Mighty God back up? That'll probably help a lot. Do we have mute? Try it if we can. Come on. Get on your feet. I want to make sure this target splash. There we go. Okay. And it ruins. A lot of people have died, so let's get haste to go back up too. Okay, it's vulnerable! Yay! Ah, good. Death, do I have anyone with death? Not right at hand, but someone, I'm sure someone has it. I'm also gonna dispel all these people because they cast Haska on them earlier. And Rarity's dead. Seems to know death. Okay. Goody. Okay. You guys can eat a double Ultima. vulnerable to poison because it's taken a lot of damage from poison it looks like. Here we go, the double ultima. This will hurt like hell. So I'm quiet, I just, I don't want to die again at this point. It's already embarrassing enough on platinum. And don't see it. Don't think I didn't notice the view account drop from me dying continuously to platinum too. Uh oh, this might kill someone. Block him, rarity. That's right. Block. No, stop hitting rarity. Stop hitting rarity. She's a marshmallow. She can't take hits. a save state. No, if I no, 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 I don't need to because at this point if anyone dies here, like they'll be revived in the next round. 
And we ascend to the final tier. No. Ah. YOLO! Let me try mine. That actually really hurt. Almost there. Oh, that doesn't mind me though, I do want to... Okay, good. Don't don't do that. Don't don't kill him Not entirely. Oh wow, barely not enough MP. Wind whistler, no. Don't think I could, don't think they're immune to a scan. Call Moon Dancer out. Get uh, image on everyone, because calmness is a physical attack. Should block it. And G1 Moon Dancer, not G4 Moon Dancer. That is the thing I forgot to mention, the Espers, with one or two exceptions, are all G1 ponies. I don't remember where I thought of that idea, but I love it, I think it works perfect. Yes! It is time! We have ascended to the cotton candy heavens of Discord. I'm gonna laugh if Flash lands from dive in the middle of his opening monologue. Cause I think that'd be hilarious. I think there's a short in my headphones. Flash sentry with a spear! Oh my god! Flash sentry's coming down the air with a spear! That's going out of nowhere! God almighty! Well, there's fan art for you. Discord confronting the party in the return of Harmony and in the background, rising from the distance, Flash sentry with a spear aimed right at his head. Chaos is only the beginning. An annoyance with Discord's attack script. He has lives. Um, he has just under 200,000 HP. He has three lives of 60,000 some odd H HP. And unfortunately, I had to have him end each life with his uh, equivalent of Ghana slash Forsaken. Because this animation of the screen shaking, it'll double up. So if he doesn't use Chaos Storm here, and when he does Chaos, it's only the beginning again, and charges up another Chaos Storm, 
the screen will shake twice as fast. And, uh, yeah, that very, very, like, not seizure warning, I don't think, but, ow, you know, it hurts the eyes, you don't want to see that. I'm doing so much, so much damage to Discord, he can't really do much in his attack script besides Heartless Angel. He can use the attacks, special attacks of the Founders, Hurricane, Gaia's Wrath, and Quasar. He has, uh, the Dark Elemental spells, he has Chaos Seal. But I'm doing too much damage. That's why I brought Flash and Twilight and that AJ. Oh, there you go. That's that. That's bad, actually. Okay, not that bad. As long as Rarity's alive. And Havoc Wing, I didn't even rename because. That already works perfect. Only thing I would kind of done is rename it Chaos Wing, but you know, little on the nose. This is gonna suck. Yeah, I don't know why Flash. I don't understand the hate for Flash that persists. I understand not liking him because they didn't give us much to like about him. He was a pretty bland character, but worthy of hate? No. And I've seen people like actively like, like some, I've, I've gotten people actively trashing me like, why'd you put Flash Sentry in that's the main character of your game? And I'm like, you think, well first, if you think Locke's the, the main protagonist of Final Fantasy VI, I like Locke, but he ain't the main protagonist, you know? And... So what? It's Flash. Get over it. Like, it's been five years since Equestria Girls by that point, and we still hate Flash Sentry? Give me a break. No one does expect Flash Sentry, he keeps jumping in the middle of dual casts, landing before bosses even get their intro scripts. Pretty much, yeah. Like, that's the only thing I could think about it, like, yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't likable, but he wasn't unlikable. So the other thing is like, yeah, the waifu thief meme. People don't like that they tried to give one of the main six a love interest. Which frankly is one of the plots they could have I could have seen them doing for real. They never did give any of the main six a love interest. And why not? Would have been a great opportunity for character development for them. Could have done a lot of plot lines with them that were unique were unique and you couldn't do with otherwise. When we did eventually get some sort of love subplot of Big Mac and Sugar Bell and they barely did anything with it. And no, I'm not a, like I don't. I don't hate Sugar Bell and Big Mac together, but they didn't do anything with it. Like it was like we saw them in two episodes, and in the third episode they were getting married. And I guess you can include the Christmas special. Uh oh, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Well, I did, I did see some hate for Timber, but yeah, I guess it's maybe because people weren't as attached to Saitwai, or because Timber had a better established character. I don't know. Hate is a weird. Oh, I think that's enough. I think that's phase two. may be like, huh? Who is that against? It couldn't be against Flash Sentry, because he's in the air and I would have seen him reappear down there dead if that would have been against him. Okay. Flash, all our hopes rest with you. Godspeed. Whew. 
Phew. Uh oh. Alright, eat a cupcake, Flash. You need the sugar rush to cast magic. Oh, thank God, image. There's the tier 3 poison spell, Scourge. So I haven't done damage to Discord, so he should... Yep, Heartless Angel. Oh, uh-oh, shit! Uh-oh, no, 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 no! And that's how My Little Pony ended, with Discord killing everyone, but really only a third of them. And Discord wins and rules the world forever at eternal chaos. Honestly, I, I, it's been two and a half hours. This was a test stream to just make sure I knew I could get a live stream going. I think I'm going to call it a night. <laughs> so, if this hack piqued your interest with the gameplay changes and the story changes and all that, you can download it. Uh, I might, there's a, if you just Google Philly Fantasy 6, or you, you or Google search it on my channel. You'll find trailers and a download link. So actually, that is there is one thing I will do to show off the final boss, or to show off before we end this, because I did save after defeating all three founders, and since we died and got sent back out here, why not? This is the secret boss that is unlocked at the very end of the game when you defeat all three founders. They're basically the equivalent of Kaiser Dragon with 300,000 HP and a very lengthy AI script of a whole variety of different elemental attacks. King Sombra, the equivalent of Emperor Gastal. King Sombra, a.k.a. Emperor Gestal, is the super boss. Yeah, that's about what I expected. So once again, thank you everyone for watching. I, I, I thank you uh, for sticking this long. GW fan, Softcore Boney, thank you the other two viewers who are watching right now. And yeah, on that note, I'm going to call it an end to the stream. Have a good night. Ciao.